Hey guys, so let's get right into it. The brown I'm using is from Kiss Colors. It's a dark, what is that, dark warm brown? Yeah, so we're going to use this brown to color the roots, and then we're going to color the hair with different colors from Adore. So you want to make sure you have your hair parted in sections. I'm not going to color the whole head because it's just for the front look. So you want to separate your hair, and you want to go by small sections. Small sections is best for, like, when you want it to be neat and you want it to look natural. So any way you part your hair, it looks natural as possible. I recommend using this brush only when doing the roots of a... Um, frontal or lace closure or any type of roots 613 black it doesn't matter when you're dyeing the roots because this helps you get a precise look and get you close enough to the lace but helps you where you don't have to touch the lace as you can see the bristles on the brush are very separated so it won't be messy and it'll reach all the strands that you need to get so i'm just placing the dye on the root of the hair very slowly and even if it get on a few strands it's fine because you won't really see it so to stop the hair from touching the other hair you want to just use the tip of the applicator brush and just press the dye into the hair this will make sure that all the dye isn't dripping and it's just on the hair only taking whatever's left off over on the brush and I'm just wiping it on the front of the lace because we need to dye the front but we don't want to add extra dye where it goes and accidentally um, damages the lace so you want to put the dye on the hair strands in the front because it won't leak through and dye the lace
have your color set up and you have your wig and you boiled your hot water, you just want to put that in a container or you want to add it into a bucket or a pot, whatever works best for you. This is what I'm using. And you want to make sure the water is steaming hot. This is going to get you the best process that you need. And you won't have to reboil the water after if you need to dye it again or add more dye. So I'm going in and I'm adding platinum to the water just to make sure that um, the hair comes out like a grayish tone. I don't want it more so baby blue, but more so like gray denim, like a denim color. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in and just mix it into the water. Now I'm going to go in with the baby blue color and I'm going to just pour that into, I'm not going to pour the whole bottle, but I'm going to pour it enough just so that the blue makes it stand and you can see the color through it. Now I have a raspberry color from the door just to kind of um, cancel out any other tones. I do want the tones to be very denim, so you need a reddish color or a pink color or purple to cancel out that tone. was steaming hot so like I'm trying to be very careful and I kept my gloves on and also this will not mess up the roots because I dried the wig after I washed it so you want to make sure after you do your roots and you dry the wig you want to dry it dry it dry it and wash it and then you can go ahead and do your watercolor so the dye didn't reach all the hair strands but that's naturally happened so I go in and I'm gonna do the process again and then I also Put a little bit of dye on my hands and I um, rub it on the hair strands just so that it can reach every strand there because I do not like when I dye hair and it's like blonde strands that you can see. So you just want to go ahead and continue to do that same process over again and anything else that you need to do you could just pour it in your hand and just rub it on the spots that you need. This was the finished look. I did make this wig into a removable wig so it's no glue, it's not gel down, tape down, nothing. So she was able to take this off. My client loved her hair. She loved the wet look and swinging her hair all around. You guys see me do this by...